All in one place the books we've reviewed this week and how to pick up a copy. All in one place the books we've reviewed this week. Click on a link to take you to our review, or to purchase it on iBooks or Amazon. Arrival sure not that great but neither is anyone else, Elan Gale a message of this contrarian self-help book can be expressed in three short sentences, get over yourself. Instead of wasting time, money and energy on self-improvement regimens, we should just get on with our lives and in so doing have a fighting chance of becoming satisfied men and women. The Stars Review here. Article continued below buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. The Lazy Girl's Guide to Life, 100 Ways to Hack Your Look, Love, Work, By Doing, Almost Nothing, Jennifer Byrne This is a compendium of amusing, and occasionally possibly useful, life hacks for ladies seeking success with very little effort. Satirist Jennifer Byrne begins with a section on looking presentable. You want beach hair but hate going to the beach. A great time waster for lazy girls. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. The Little Book of Stress Relief, David Posen In 1981, family doctor David Posen attended a seminar on stress management in Montreal and found his life's calling. This is the third edition of his Little Book of Stress Relief, each one updated and revised to reflect new thinking on this ever-morphing topic. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. What would Nietzsche do? Philosophical solutions to everyday problems. Marky Weeks author Marcus Weeks surveys the great philosophers, Nietzsche, as the title suggests, but also Socrates, Kant, Hume, Derrida and many more to find answers to life's burning questions, such as, how do I mend the broken heart? Will taking drugs help me make sense of the universe? And many more. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. Midlife, a philosophical guide. Kieran Setia. Kieran Setia is a 40-something philosophy professor at MIT who was staring down the barrel of his own midlife crisis when he embarked on this book. He sets aside his personal travails in this accessible exploration of what history's great thinkers have had to say on the subject. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. Review Swoman at 1000 Degrees Paul Grimoire Helga Sonald here a Bjornsson is dying and she can't wait. She's made herself an appointment at the crematorium for the 14th and she doesn't want to miss it. As she tells her story, we learn that this is a woman who refuses to be reduced to the role of daughter, wife, mother, victim, or a criminal. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. The Black Painting, Neil Olson a spooky work by Francisco Goyer exerts powers that drive viewers bonkers. Black Painting purportedly belongs to a series of gruesome works created by the Spanish genius near the end of his life. With its page-turning plot and moody atmospherics, Olson's tale proves seductive. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. The Transition, Luke Kennard Cole and Genevieve are struggling to keep up in the new economy. When Carl faces jail time for fraud and mammoth debt, their accountant recommends the transition. They'll give up their apartment and most of the previous lives and move in with a pair of mentors. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. Graphics The Case of the Missing Men, Chris Burton and Alexander Forbes dip into it and illustrated in an expressive, accessible style. There's an engaging story of teenage sleuths looking for clues to mysteries in Hobtown, Nova Scotia. Then it gets weird, the characters' loyalties must be untangled from complicated conspiracies and the narrative presents a real puzzle. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Moomin and the Brigands, Tov Jansson from the deep, dark woods of Finland comes Moomin, who is hard to define but a delight to read about. Moomin and the Brigands shows our main character's attempts to rid himself of pesky relatives and get rich, and introduces important characters such as Snork Maiden and Snuffkin. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. Buy it at iBooks here. Window Horses, the poetic Persian epiphany of Rosie Ming and Marie Fleming and other Swindow Horses based on the 2016 award-winning independent film, focuses on Rosie Ming, a half-Persian, half-Chinese, or Canadian poet, finding out about her past. It's fictional but feels real, because so many Canadians have complicated identities. Read the Stars Review here. Buy it on Amazon here. 
Kill Shakespeare past his prologue, Julia, Connor McCreary, Colin Howell and others if you like the idea of a shared universe, this series is for you. Kill Shakespeare is based on the idea that all of the Bard of Avon's characters live in the same world which also has a powerful wizard who might be the playwright himself. It's quite a yarn, and great value. Read the stars review here. Buy it on Amazon here.